to run JavaScript in Visual Studio Code, let's go ahead and first open a new terminal. Now we're going to paste this link from the description of this video, curl dash o dash, make sure not to have any spaces between dash and o. And it's followed by the URL from which we're going to download NVM, which is Node.js version manager. You want to install Node using this Node version manager instead of downloading from the official site, because doing it this way will allow you to change Node version instead of just being trapped in one version that you can't change. If you're serious about web development, it's important that it's done this way. But if you don't have any experience yet, it's going to become more clear why this is important, which will happen at a later time. Okay, to validate NVM, you have to type source. And again, this command is found in the description of this video. And that source command was for older operating system. For the newer one, you have to use Z shell. And that's source and this Z shell command. So try both of them out. One of them will work. And then start typing NVM install dash dash LTS. This will install the latest version of Node on your computer, which in my case is Mac OS. Now to check if node has been installed, type node-v and npm-v. Here we have node version 20 and npm version 10. Okay, now use npm install prettier. Actually with a g tag, which is dash g prettier. I'll show you in a moment why we're doing this, but it can be important in some cases. Now let's create a new directory, my-js-app and change directory with a CD into that directory we just created. Now, once inside our JS project directory, we're going to open it by using the code space dot command. If that doesn't work, you need to add code to the path. In order to do that, press command shift P on a Mac or control shift P on Windows PC. Now start typing shell. And here we have shell command install code command in path, which is the first option. So go ahead and click on that. And now when you type code space dot, it should open that folder in the VS code editor. So your JavaScript project will be open from the command line. It's going to open it in a new editor. But if you want to open it from the file menu, you can do that by accessing the open folder option. Once you open the folder, you will see it in the project pane on the left hand side. Now let's go back to terminal and create a new JavaScript file by typing touch space app.js on the command line that will add the file into the project in VS code. Now I'm going to type a simple JavaScript program, which prints out how to run JavaScript in VS code or visual studio code to the console. Now we're going to run this JavaScript file from terminal in VS code. You can do that by typing node space app.js. And as you can see, we printed out how to run JavaScript in VS Code or Visual Studio Code to the console, which means we executed this JavaScript program or file from the command line in VS Code. Now I'm going to give you a small example of how to use Prettier. And Prettier is going to format your JavaScript file Basically, the way it works, you type prettier dash dash write space app dot js. But I think I need to install it again from this folder. So I'm going to type npm install dash g prettier and execute that line again. As you can see what happened here, prettier added back the semicolon at the end of the console dot log function, which I intentionally removed. Now you might want to also install TypeScript by typing npm install dash g TypeScript. And you might want to install npm install dash g pm2. pm2 will allow you to run your node JavaScript program continuously. Even if it crashes, it will restart it again, which is very important on production server to always run the app forever. Uh, type pm2 start and the name of your JavaScript file. You'll probably want to install React next. npm install dash g create dash React dash app and then call npx create dash React dash app and type the name of your app, my React app. 
now that your react app is fully created let's cd into that folder which is now in our project with all the react files and we're going to cd into that folder and then we're going to call npm start and that's it guys your javascript react application is running from visual studio code all of the commands and instructions are in the description of this video if this helped you set up JavaScript in Visual Studio Code, hit that like button so that we can help a lot more people.